My name is Scott Kundal. I'm the founder and CEO of Madge3.com. And you are here because you are a digital marketer, social media manager, SEO expert, website designer. The list goes on and on. However, you are probably not offering LinkedIn to your clients as well as you should. Don't worry. I don't blame you one bit. LinkedIn is so not cool. It is extremely archaic. It's old, it has a 1997 interface and about 80% of it is bloody useless. That's the truth. However, there is a sliver of LinkedIn that is amazing. And it will take your social media to a whole new level. And the purpose of this course is for me to show you in the next hour, how you can offer a sliver of LinkedIn, the right piece of LinkedIn to your clients in a way that no other digital marketer is doing. What we've developed is our own methodology and our own software. And when it comes together, it's a proprietary system that I'm gonna teach you for free right now so that you can go to your clients and say to them, hang on, we're not just doing all the social media, SEO, website, et cetera, for you, but we can actually generate a measurable sales pipeline and a sales funnel that generates them specific leads and measures and scores those leads in a way that the other systems don't do. It's also really, really, really simple but you've got to think differently. So if you're ready, let's begin. First, a little bit of background. I've been in digital marketing for 20 years. I've been in pretty much every kind of startup. I've worked for every kind of industry, most countries around the world. And I settled eventually on a business that specifically focuses on one niche, which is LinkedIn. It's often ignored. And when it isn't ignored, it's often done in a very hardcore, spammy, salesy kind of way. In other words, automation. What I wanna show you in this course is a soft and gentle way that you can use LinkedIn for your clients. It's not a huge amount of work, but it sets up a kind of machine. And that machine works with your existing social media and generates a measurable sales pipeline. So what clients love these days is they love to see, okay, you've sent me a couple of leads via email. Um, I've got some landing pages. I've got, I've got the web traffic. Um, stuff is kind of happening, but you know, I haven't really closed any deals. I don't really know what's going on. You've done all this work. It looks pretty, but they feel overwhelmed. If you can get it into a very simple sales pipeline where you're literally showing the top of the funnel and the middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel, and you allow clients to specifically start working through those leads and converting deals, you've now taken it to a new level. Now, the thing that LinkedIn has that no other social media has is awesome data. And when I say awesome data, I'm talking about company names, who they work for, previous jobs, email addresses. Yes, you can pull email addresses from LinkedIn. All this company information, number of employees, staff, what they do, information, who they are following, what their interests are. All this data is sitting within LinkedIn. However, it's just not utilized correctly. So let's begin by talking through the step-by-step -step process that a client goes through in their head to think, how do I generate more sales? Now, the one area that this course is not really gonna help you with is specific sales of e-commerce products, unless you want to focus on finding resellers. So there's a reseller channel and you've got your direct to client channel. I'm gonna show you how to use both of them, but we're not gonna sell you know, high heel shoes to 16 year old girls. That's not gonna work from this particular methodology because LinkedIn isn't really for that target audience. So it's horses for courses. So let's start by talking about the sales process. This is what a client goes through in their head. A client's thinking, how many deals am I working on right now? How many resellers of my product do I have? How many clients do I have? How many clients am I getting right now? Whereas digital markers tend to think from the other way. Um, how do we reach out? How is our outreach going? Um, how many likes, shares, how, how is our post doing? That has absolutely no relevance whatsoever to an end user client who is thinking about sales. So to get your mind in, 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 in the space of what a client thinks, is need, you need to think, think of it as sales. So if you look at it as a sales pipeline, and the client wants to generate deals, what you want to give them is quality leads that have been scored, that have engaged, and that have email addresses, contact information, so that the client can research them 
he or she can see them. That's not just an email address of somebody who filled out a landing page and downloaded a white paper. That's not good enough. You need to know who they are. You need to know who those people are so that the business owner can do their research and start nurturing those leads and move them down their sales funnel. Does that make sense so far? I hope so, because it's gonna get even more interesting shortly. The difficult thing about what I'm gonna teach you is that I need to put several puzzle pieces together. So it's fairly advanced. You guys are already good with technology, social media management, etc. So you should be able to grasp what I'm gonna be teaching you here relatively quickly. However, there are still pieces of it that need to come together. All right, so first of all, what I wanna show you is the art of messaging people on LinkedIn and why you need to message them. So when you take your, we need to working on a client's LinkedIn profile. Yes, they need to have a good um, profile photo. They need to have a good background. They need to have a good bio, the basics, right? They need to have a relatively good company page, but it kind of starts to end there where the usefulness comes. The real usefulness on LinkedIn is how you do your invitations and how you go out and message people from the invitations of connections that come in and who they are. So what you wanna do for a client is you want to do their LinkedIn invitations for them and the acceptances and the messages on their behalf. I'm gonna show you how to do that in super quick time. So you don't have to sit there necessarily going click and write a message and click and write a message one by one. We're gonna semi-automate that process, but it's gonna be really, really quick. The important thing is, is you need to know why. Why am I doing this? So here's an example. You might have a really, really good Instagram account for a client, and you might have a couple of messages going back and forth, all right? A couple of DMs going back and forth. But who are these people? What you wanna do is you wanna try to get them from Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, or anything else, and try and get them onto LinkedIn so you can get that data from LinkedIn. Once they're on LinkedIn, you move them across into their sales funnel using a couple of very clever messages. So what you're doing is you're using LinkedIn as the kind of data enrichment that takes all the social media and all those little cool little interactions you're having, gets them onto LinkedIn, screens them on LinkedIn because it gets them the quality and then moves them across onto that sales pipeline. And now the client's going, oh my gosh, I'm actually seeing real tangible value from all the work that you're doing. A lead coming in is no longer just a name and an email address. It's actually got, you've given me all this data and you've given me the tool where I can take that data and help them move it through that sales funnel and that sales pipeline. The problem for social media managers and digital marketers is they don't want to sit there for hours and hours and hours, click accepting invitation, blah, 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 and doing that whole process. This is where we come in and I'm gonna give you the tool that's gonna to help you do that very, very quickly. So you're gonna go invite, 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 click send message, click send message, takes a few minutes and you're literally managing a client's LinkedIn account for them, building a sales pipeline and it all happens within a few minutes. Trick, you need to know how to send your messages, what to write and how to frame the content. You don't need to keep posting on LinkedIn every day or every week. Don't need to do that guys, that's the good news. You don't need to have this whole content, massive LinkedIn content strategy. If you're doing it already and the client's loving it, don't change it. But what I wanna show you is I wanna show you how the clients can actually see the measurable, tangible results. And I'm gonna share my screen soon and I'm gonna to start to show you what the end result looks like. What does that final sales funnel pipeline look like and how do we start moving it into the sales pipeline on behalf of their client? Okay, so from a client's perspective, they are looking for hot leads right here on the right hand side. That's what they want. If you can deliver them hot leads that convert into sales, you will have that client for life. A client can get a bit bamboozled by, oh, uh, this is how much uh, website traffic we got. Uh, these are the unique impressions. These are the page impressions. Uh, this is the social media data that we've got. Uh, yes, um, we got this many likes, this many shares. Uh, our email open rates are X, Y, Z. Uh, this is the results of our A-B testing, et cetera, et cetera. They get bamboozled by that. It's nice, but for them, it's about how do I get these hot leads? So if you're doing your social media work and you're finding good quality people, and you are connecting with them on LinkedIn on behalf of the client because you're managing the client's LinkedIn profile and you're moving them to hot leads over here where you can literally see them and the client can see these hot leads being built. 
that client is going to go ballistic because they're like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. What you're actually doing for me is converting this etheric data of social media stuff into something that I understand, qualified leads that I can potentially convert into customers. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. You can also um, tag these leads as well, and you can say where they came from. So this particular lead came from Instagram, this lead came from Facebook, this particular lead came from LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. And you can manage it for them. So you can give them high quality leads, you can move them into hot leads, and the client can then work on these leads and put them into deals in progress. And it's really simple, because when you're on an individual's profile, okay, like Sheree over here, all you do is you push the plus button and this little app on the right hand side will actually pull that data out of LinkedIn, tag them where necessary and even give you the data that you need. So the client can literally go name, email addresses, even a mobile number if they happen to have one as well. So all the data is sitting right there that they can use to communicate because that is LinkedIn's primary USP. LinkedIn has incredible data and way, way, way over and beyond all the other social media platforms. So if you work with that whole social media mix and you bring LinkedIn to it, you must bring the data and do it in a really, really nice, easy to use way that the client understands. Now I'm gonna show you a lot more about how this works in a minute and I'm gonna take you through some really cool tricks and really cool understanding of how this can all come together and some methodologies on how to actually generate those leads and where you can take LinkedIn to the next level. And it doesn't take much time because this app does most of it for you. All right, now you're probably asking me about this app. I'm gonna quickly show you. It's called mymosttrusted.net. The reason for the rather strange name is because it's completely brand agnostic. So it allows you to create a trusted network. Uh, it is a Chrome extension and it specifically sits on LinkedIn and allows you to combine the Chrome extension, which is this bit here that sits on Google and allows you to work with the mobile app, which I'm gonna show you about in a second to allow your client to go, oh my gosh, leads are coming in and be notified on their mobile phone that they can actually deal with those leads right on LinkedIn and start mining them. It's unbelievable how much value you can add to your clients and do something that no other digital agencies are doing and that is giving them that high quality sales funnel. You digital marketers are not stupid. I'm not here to tell you obvious stuff that you can learn in any video like uh, how to do an advanced LinkedIn search uh, or how to do a post on LinkedIn or why. All that stuff is out there. I mean, it's, it's really not that important. What I'm showing you today is the core of what clients are looking for. Now, if you are able to take the app that I've showed you and build that measurable sales pipeline, people are going to go like, wow, the clients are going to go, oh my gosh, because it comes down to the conversation. That is what you're good at. You're getting a conversation on social media. Maybe it's Twitter or maybe it's a lead that came from Instagram. You've started forming a conversation. You've pulled them onto LinkedIn. You've connected with them on the client's LinkedIn account. Now you've got a conversation going. Can you imagine what the client is going to say when you tell them that you've just started a conversation on the client's behalf with the CEO of this particular company? or the owner of this particular business, they're gonna go, what, are you seriously, what, who, what, what, how did you do that? And not only that, you're gonna give them all the data on LinkedIn so that the client can do their research and go, my gosh, I can see everything I need to know about this client. I can even get the email addresses and phone numbers and all that kind of stuff. It's a mind blowing notion. And it's something that a lot of digital medias, uh, digital marketing agencies are not doing now and not doing appropriately. So for the rest of this course, I'm gonna show you how to take that conversation to the next level. But the key, the secret to LinkedIn that is more important than anything else that LinkedIn can do is the invitation and the acceptance. It's inviting new people to connect with your client, but the right quality people. And it's about getting that conversation going and getting that data. But the invitation and the acceptance message and the way you word those messages, that is going to be the game changer. And I'm gonna teach you that trick now. And it's something called a captivating one-liner. I'll say it again, a captivating one-liner. You don't have to go hard sell, 
You don't have to spam the living daylights out of these poor people. All you need to do is go in with one line, but it has to be the right line. And I'm going to show you how to craft that line for a client. And it's called a captivating one liner. And that is how you use your invitation and acceptance messages to get these prospects to start to engage and getting that conversation onto a next level. You ready? Let me start by quickly moving the Chrome extension out of the way and showing you the most important way to start a LinkedIn invitation. And that is with the all filters tab here to begin your search. Now it's so important that you target an industry or a job title or both. Clients don't like this, but you need to convince them that if they want to get the highest results, they need to go niche. Also, never ever invite people with a sales pitch. You need to show the prospects that your client is a trusted advisor, someone they can trust. And you do this by talking about the prospect's pain, not the client's product or service. This is the secret. And I'm going to get into the conversation that you're going to have with them in a minute. But in the meantime, I want to show you what I've done here. I'm targeting computer software companies and I'm specifically targeting them in the United Kingdom. And the job title I'm looking for is owners or CEOs. So you can approach top people. Now, if you try and hard sell these people, they're going to get myth. That is a slang word for unhappy, right? So if I apply this now, it's giving me a list of people who meet my criteria. Now, what I've shown you is nothing new. You can learn this from anywhere, but this is where it gets really interesting. Watch what happens when I try to connect with Steve Murphy. I click the connect button. It actually brings up, all right? Look how it's brought up his name and a message already. Hi, Steve. I've just written a controversial article titled UK software companies, et cetera, et cetera. What I'm doing is when I'm connecting with Steve, because I don't know who he is, I've never met him before. I need to show him that I'm not going to spam him. Instead, I've written something for him and his industry that speaks to his industry's pain. This is the key and this is the power of the captivating one liner. Now, if you already know this person, so in other words, you've already started a conversation on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. If you've already got them and, and there's already a conversation going on social media, then you don't need to use this exact wording. Just say to them, hi, Steve, we were chatting on Instagram or I DM'd you on Facebook. Um, I'd love to connect with you on LinkedIn as well, if that's okay. Uh, I also have an article to share with you or something along those lines. So what you're doing is you're keeping it very, very soft. Look what happens when I click the done button. This little track invites button is turned on. It's just recorded Steve. It's taken his details. And now I know that pending invitations is Steve and somebody I did earlier. Here he is, Jonathan. Now I can do the same with Tony. Connect. Here it is. You can see the data has just appeared in here. The message is already there. All I do is I click done. And there it does. It pulls it into the pending invitations tab. What, what it's doing is it's recording the invitations that you're making so that you know who you've invited in this industry in using the soft approach that I'm showing you now. And it's already going into the sales pipeline or should I say the top of the sales funnel. The client can see the work that you're doing and who you're inviting. And at the same time, you can then also, I won't get to it yet, but you can start to look at tagging them where they came from. Did they come from Instagram, et cetera? And I'll take you through that in a, in, in a while. But for now, the pending invitations tab is so powerful because it allows you to softly approach new people on behalf of clients and get them into the app. Later, I'm going to show you what happens when they accept and how to start actually working with them when they start accepting that particular LinkedIn invitation. So you see what's starting to come together now. And before I actually go into the invitations and how to move them into acceptances and how to start sending additional acceptance messages and move them down the pipeline, I want to tell you about a trick called clustering. Now, clustering is one of the golden threads of lead generation and lead nurturing. Now, what clustering does is once you found a lead, once again, from social media on LinkedIn or whatever, and you've put it into the app, that lead is probably an employee or business owner or works for a particular organization. What's really useful is to create a cluster 
around the organization that that individual works for. So if you have got a lead coming in, right, and that lead is from Apple or Coca-Cola, and you manage to find a regional director of Coca-Cola, let's say, what clustering does is it name drops that individual and starts connecting to other people within Coca-Cola. So you don't just have one lead within Coca-Cola, you might have three or four or five or 10 or 15. So you use the lead that you've got to help you get into more people within Coca-Cola. And you do this on behalf of your client. I'm gonna show you once again in the more advanced tutorials on how to actually create an amazing cluster. But the client is looking at this and going, wow, you've given me an in to Coca-Cola. You've given me um, the name of a director and you've warmed up a lead for me for this company XYZ. Thank you, that's great. Then you go back to the client and go, I didn't just get you one lead within that organization. I've given you four or five or six. And the client is going, wow. So you've taken a lead or a, even if it's just a warm lead or a, or a contact, and you've taken that contact and you've expanded it to other people within the organization. So now you don't just have one contact within the organization, you've got several. My gosh, this is where the client is starting to go off the rails. Okay, now let's go back and start looking at the invitations we did earlier. I've added a few more and how to take them from invitation to acceptance and then eventually into your pipeline. Okay, this is where things start to get a little bit more advanced. So stay with me, because if you do, it's life changing. I mean, changing the lives of our clients, that's what we're here on this earth to do. All right, so if you remember, I did a whole bunch of pending invitations and we sent them a custom invitation message. Make sure the track invites is turned on for that custom message to work. And now here they are under the pending invitations tab. Now you need to use this beautiful button over here. It's called check acceptances. What the app is now doing is it's specifically going to check the acceptances to see which of those people in the app has actually accepted that LinkedIn invitation message. Okay, so it's asking me to do a deep check. Don't worry about that. I'm just going to do a normal check. The map, the it's, I'm not moving my mouse. It's doing this automatically now. You can already see accepted my invite. It's uh, another person's accepted my invite. The app is working in the background right now to specifically see which one of those list of people has accepted my invitation. It's got to run through a couple of pages and then it's finished. Now, here they are. They have been moved, right? These people, right? Lucy and James specifically have been moved from the invitations tab all the way into the acceptances tab because they've accepted. The other people in the invitations tab have not yet accepted your invitation yet. All right, or in this case, your client's invitation. Now, you want to send another message, an acceptance message. Now watch carefully, guys, because I'm gonna show you how to create a tracking link. All right, so where it says Lucy Blakely, under this little icon here, it says send acceptance message. They have already got the invitation message, you watched me do it last time. Now, if I click send acceptance message, what it's gonna do is it's going to create, I didn't move my mouse, it's already created the message over here. Here's the invitation message I sent her before, and here is it's ready to send it out. All right, now I'm, in order to create a tracking link, I'm going to show you quickly how to do it. So I'm gonna quickly go, for example, https colon slash slash www dot madge3.com. All right. Now, look, look at what happened. It asked me to create a tracking link. It'll only do this the first time when it doesn't recognize the link. So it doesn't recognize madge3.co. But as soon as I do madge3.com, it disappears because it knows what madge3.com is. So now I want to share the specific article with her. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to show you one more time. All right. Here's a link to the article. I've just copied it and pasted it from, from here, all right? Now I've pasted it into this message, and now I'm gonna click send. Look what it's done, is it's taken my article, which was on the majestic3.com website, and it's converted it into a tracking link. Now, 
if anybody clicks on this tracking link, they will automatically go um, onto your mobile phone, your, the client or your mobile phone will beep and it will notify you in real time that person has clicked on the tracking link. Also, it'll appear as a tag in the app itself. So if somebody clicks on this app right now, if Lucy was to click on this and I go back to Lucy and notice now Lucy has moved automatically from the acceptance to high quality leads. Here she is, here's Lucy. Here's a tag saying send, uh, she's been sent the acceptance message. She's now in high quality leads. If she clicks on this tracking link, it will notify in real time on the mobile phone and it'll create a tag called clicked on tracking link. I know this has been a little bit confusing and I'm gonna explain it in a bit more detail now, but do you see what we've done here? We've invited her on LinkedIn with an invitation message. We have then sent an acceptance message and that acceptance message had a tracking link in it. Where do you set up all these messages you might be asking? You set them up under settings. Here they are, invitation message, acceptance message, custom message, etc. This is where you're going to change your messages and you can put your tracking links in there. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. I get it. That was a lot to take in. Okay, so taking it step by step. We're looking to do invitations and then acceptances and then move them into high quality leads and then hot leads and then eventually into deals in progress. You can do a lot of the beginning for the client, the client takes over and you're working with the client to help them with the leads you've been sending them. And this is where clients go mad. Then to help them, you've created a cluster which is effectively doing invitations and name dropping one lead that you've already got to another person within the same organization. So you've got several leads within the same organization. That's called a cluster around a company. Now to do that, you've sent an invitation message. You've pushed check acceptances. You've now pulled the acceptances into the app. And now you've sent an acceptance message with the link that you promised them in the invitation message, which is usually an article or video or something along those lines. See how it's coming together. And the captivating one-liner is the crux of what that content is. So you softly and gently nurturing them through the sales pipeline. Then when they were, when they were in the acceptances tab, you pushed send acceptance message. It built the acceptance message, created a tracking link for you so that when you send an acceptance message by saying, thank you for accepting my LinkedIn connection, here, as promised, is a link to my article or video, etc. If they click on that tracking link, it will create a tag within the app. And it'll also notify the mobile phone in real time that that person is currently reading your article or on your website. And the client's going nuts now because you've created a warm lead. In real time, they're being notified that that person is engaged and if they're a really good salesperson and they're on the ball, they can get on the phone, they can phone them or they can take them through a process. What that process is, is gonna be the subject for the next few minutes. And this is, again, a really important process because you can't just send out a bunch of LinkedIn invitations and messages and then do nothing with them. You've gotta you've got to nurture them. And how do we nurture them? That's gonna be the subject of the next few minutes. So to quickly summarize, You've got your social media going crazy. You're DMing people on Instagram. Your Instagram followers are growing. Your Facebook um, connections are growing. Your friends are growing. Your, your Facebook page is growing. Your Twitter starting to happen. People are starting to engage. When they start to engage, what happens then? Usually, not much. You just give it to the client and go, look, client, we've got so many cool engagements. And the client's going, well, that's great, but how do I convert them into sales? With the technique I'm showing you now, you can take those individuals, communicate with them, get them onto LinkedIn, move them from LinkedIn, get the data, the email addresses, all this amazing data, put them onto a sales funnel for the client and then start nurturing them with the client and start helping them convert into leads. This is what very, very, very few social media companies are actually doing. Doing that step that the clients actually love. Remember, we are doing this because the client wants to see sales. The client is thinking, sell, sell, sell. And that's what we need to show the client. So we do that by taking the invitations and sending those invitations out, 
checking acceptances, moving them to acceptances, sending them an acceptance message with a tracking link, and then moving them into high quality leads so the client can go, wow, this is working brilliantly. Once they're in high quality leads, there's a four step process that you can start to take them through with the client. This is really advanced guys. What I'm teaching you is advanced stuff. When I say the words with the client, you need to work together. The client needs to be part of this process, at least up until a point. Okay, now interestingly, this Lucy lady who we sent the tracking link to, look, clicked on ebook. She's clicked on my ebook. She's clicked on the tracking link. This will have notified the client in real time or you or myself, depending on who's actually working on behalf of the client, in real time, they'll be noted, they will be notified that there's been a click. So whether it's a click to the website, whether it's a click to reading an article, that means you can start dealing with that lead in real time when you know that individual is actually looking at your content. It's really powerful. And the four step process that I'm going to take you now is all about converting them from high quality leads, all right, into hot leads, and eventually to deals in progress. So if you want to, for example, send a message to Sean and step one is the sending another LinkedIn message, right? So we need to send a message to each of these people over and above the first two messages we sent out. This is advanced guys, never said it was simple. It's advanced, very, very powerful. So here's custom message, which I set up in the settings menu. Notice this, I'm not moving my mouse. It's already built this message for me. Done, ready to go. So I've pre-created this message already in the settings menu. However, now this is gonna be really important. The four step process that you're gonna take people through from this tab and move them down the sales pipeline. Step one is as I've shown you, you're gonna send out a LinkedIn message. A few days later, you're gonna send an email on behalf of the client or the client will send it out. A few days later, you're then gonna ask the client to leave a LinkedIn voice message. Yes, a voice message on LinkedIn. And step four is a phone call. This is the sales process. Every client is a little bit different and those four steps can become quite complicated. I don't have time to go through all of that now, but those are your basic four steps. But it starts with that first message. Now that message is over and above the first two messages, the invitation message and acceptance message that you've already sent out. How do you word this message? This has something to do with the LinkedIn cheat sheet. This is the LinkedIn cheat sheet. I will share this with you if you contact me and I will take you through some of the more advanced ways of sending that first LinkedIn message. I call it the first LinkedIn message, but remember it's actually the third message because you've sent an invitation message followed by an acceptance message. They've engaged or they've responded and now you send out the third message. So I'm calling it the first message because it's step one of four, that first LinkedIn message. This LinkedIn cheat sheet tells you about how to craft the first message. This is a lot more advanced in terms of how to do this and how the process of actually crafting that message works but I'm going to take you through it very quickly. In a nutshell, when you send out that first message, it must be about the pain that was identified in the content you sent out previously. So what is the pain that that individual has been going through? So in other words, you wanna do two things. You wanna start by looking at this LinkedIn profile of the prospect. You wanna check them out. So just pretend I'm a prospect now for a second. You're gonna look at my profile. You're gonna look at the prospect's profile. And your first two sentences of that message are going to be something like, oh, wow, that's a really nice background. Where was it taken? Um, it's going to be, wow, I see you did some volunteer works or you made this interesting post. Um, Gee, you did some work for a children's home. Uh, wow, I see you worked for Coca-Cola for five years. Something personal that shows you that that message that you've crafted has come from research not just thumb, stuck, thumb sucked and spam the living daylights out of them. So your beginning of your message is always personal. And then you will always ask them a question about the pain that was identified. In my article that I sent you earlier or in my video that I sent you earlier, I talked about the pain that your, your industry is going through. Are you experiencing this pain? That's what it's about. Remember, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to get a conversation. And if you can get a conversation for a client, 
then the client's obviously going to be very happy with you because you've done all your social media. It's come down to LinkedIn. You built a measurable sales pipeline and this client can work with you by also having the app installed on their PC and they can actually work these leads in real time and is going, wow, this is actually starting to generate some real high quality traction for me. So that first LinkedIn message is absolutely critical. If they don't respond, and many of them will not respond, then you need to wait a couple of days and then send out an email. The email should go on behalf of a client. And yes, I know there can be issues sending emails on behalf of a client. That's going to be the topic of another discussion. And then a LinkedIn voice message that the client needs to leave, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So you've got this process that needs to take place that the client needs to be engaged with, but everything is coming together nicely because you're building a measurable sales pipeline. I get it guys. This is like, oh my gosh, I need to just collect my thoughts. I'm giving you in a really advanced course, guys. You guys are social media managers and digital marketers who want to take your career to the next level. You want to find more clients. You want to differentiate yourself from the other million marketing companies out there. So what I'm showing you is the way that you can do it, but you've got to learn new stuff and be prepared to kind of take your brain to a new place. And the new place is thinking from the client's perspective about sales. Okay. And I told you about that four step process that you need to go through and how you've got to start working with the client to create that. Also, I hinted earlier about the concept of clustering. Clustering can actually save lives. Okay. Not literally, but figuratively because clustering is incredible. Let's say, for example, that you don't have quite enough leads that you think the client is going to be happy with. You need more. You can very quickly get new leads and actually expand the capacity and value of the leads you've currently got by creating a cluster around the company. So if you've got a lead from, say, Coca-Cola, you can then go and invite other people from Coca-Cola using the methodology I've already shown you. And all you do is you change the invite sentence to say, hi, so-and-so, I see you from Coca-Cola. I've just been chatting to your colleague also at Coca-Cola who really found my article interesting or my video interesting. Now, remember you're doing this on behalf of the client, but what you've done is instead of having one person at Coca-Cola, you might have two or three or four or five people at Coca-Cola. And this is creating a cluster of leads around a particular company which increases the chance that the client can speak to that company or get a sale down the line because you're not just dealing with one person. These are all the tricks that I'm showing you. This is all the power of the system that I'm showing you so that you can add so much more value to clients using this technique. Now, let's move into something new and start putting the icing on the cake. Okay, the best way for me to illustrate this next point is by using this delicious Italian dish called gnocchi. Now, if you've ever cooked this gnocchi, you'll throw these delicious little potato balls into a pot and they sink to the bottom. And then as they cook, they start bobbing up to the surface. You see, all good things come in pot. So just think the secret is in the pot. Once you get pot, then you'll understand the secrets of the digital marketing universe. Okay, so here you go, here's the pot. And what happens is leads are gonna bob from the bottom to the top. This is how gnocchi is cooked, and this is really how the leads are going to be prioritized using a lead scoring dashboard that I'm gonna show you now. This is really cool, and it takes your whole career to a new level when you can understand how lead generation, lead nurturing, and sales closing actually works, because now you can speak on behalf of the client. You can speak the client's language. Clients will really understand you now. Okay, now before I just get into the pot, and the gnocchi and how that dashboard is gonna work, I wanna just quickly show you something. So under high quality leads and in these various tabs, you're gonna see all these icons at the bottom and it's important you know how they work. And if you go to mymosttrusted.net, this is where you download the Chrome extension and the mobile app together. So you install them both and work them simultaneously. On this page is a list of training videos and there's more of them now as well. These are gonna show you how the whole thing works. And I want you to go through those at some point so you really understand what I'm showing you. But very quickly, you can use this little dollar button to create your own tags. Some tabs, tags are created automatically, 
when somebody clicks on a link, for example, or you send a message out to them, but you can also create your own tag. For example, I want to take create a tag called meeting and I'll just tag them as a meeting. So this is really important because it allows you and the client to know where you are on that particular lead. So you know you've had a meeting with this client, for example, and you can create various types of tags and categorize each individual in your sales funnel with those tags. You can also write notes like really cool guy or, you know, children's names are Sven and Tanya or whatever they happen to be. Okay, so that's the one thing I wanted to show you. And before we get back to the pot, I just wanna quickly show you reminders. Remember the four step process. Once they're in your sales funnel, the client needs to start working with you to start closing those deals. Now, in order to move them through the sales pipeline, you have that four step process. The first step is send a LinkedIn message and a few days later, another message, but this time probably an email and a few days later, a LinkedIn voice message, a few days later, a phone call. How do you know and to remember when to do the next step? And how do you remember which step you're on? That's why you can use tags and you can set a reminder by quickly going set follow up for one week later, for example, save it. And they will then appear in the reminders tab reminding you to do that. So you can use this as what we would call a pre CRM system. It's before it gets to the big CRM stuff. It works right on top of LinkedIn and you can work with those leads and continuously send those leads to a client in a way that the client really, really, really understands. Okay, does this making sense? I hope so. Now, if you wanna get hold of the training manual, it's on here, just move your mouse here and just click the little question mark to the, go to the training manual. And now we're gonna talk about Maya. Maya is a fully automated version of what I've just shown you now. And the output is this pot, the lead scoring tool that shows you, right, where these little leads are bobbing up to the surface, which leads are engaging your content and wait for it, which leads are actually responding to your emails. Yes, we're going to track emails as well. We're going to bring email into this whole equation. Let me quickly frame this all for you nicely now. So I've shown you how to take your social media and how to do LinkedIn to top up your social media, how to create a cluster on the leads you're bringing in, how to get those leads into a pipeline in a way the client understands and can measure and manage those leads that you're sending them. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how you can prioritize leads and how to score them. This is where the high level clients come in. Because what I'm gonna show you now is not just a lead scoring system that's going to include email, but it's also going to fully automate everything I've just shown you. So you know how I've shown you so far how to manually do your invitations on LinkedIn and then how to manually check acceptances and then how to manually send the acceptance message. Sure, it's really quick and you can do it very fast, but every day you've got to log into the client's LinkedIn profile and you've got to do those invitations and acceptances. It's a wonderful service to offer a client. And it's a service that they almost certainly won't be getting right now. So you can add a lot of value um, to the client. Now, how are you going to take things to the next level? What if you want to automate the, the whole process? This is where Maya comes in. Maya stands for My Automation, and it's a plug into the My Most Trusted Chrome extension with the mobile app. That's for premium customers. So I'm going to show you how to take things to the next level and how to automate this whole process. So you can sit back and relax. And what happens is the process is automated every day. The system logs into the client's LinkedIn profile, does the invitations, does the acceptance message, does the tracking link, and most importantly, pulls email addresses out of LinkedIn. Yes, for more advanced users and premium customers, you can pull email addresses out of their LinkedIn profiles and ask them for permission to email them. So you're going to send an email saying, may I have your permission to email you and start you on an email series around your captivating one liner. So what you're doing is you're building a proper opt in email database for your client and it all sits on top of what you're already doing. Let me show you quickly. Now with LinkedIn, when you make a LinkedIn connection and that connection has accepted your invitation, their email address becomes available. This is a best kept secret of LinkedIn. However, you can't just spam them with email. You've got to ask for permission first. So what you've already done is you've already sent them a LinkedIn direct message. 
And the way that LinkedIn creates preview images, and if you do your article and your captivating one-liner correctly, what you'll end up with is a beautiful looking message that's gonna go out via direct message with a tracking link. And I've already shown you how to create that tracking link. Now, taking things to the next level, you can pull that email address out and start them on a two email series or two email journey. Email one goes out and says, may I have your permission to email you and start you on an email series that I've created? May I have your permission? So you need to email them to ask them for permission. One week later, it sends another message saying, you haven't opted in yet. Last chance to opt in or I'm gonna delete your data. So this is proper data privacy and gives them two chances to opt in and then you delete all the data off the system. Now the tool, the advanced tool that I'm showing you now, Maya, actually does this for you. It does those emails. It pulls the emails out of these connections and starts to actually send those emails to the prospects. However, there's a little trick. In order for them to opt in, you need to bring them to a landing page. This is an example of a landing page. So when you send them an email that says, please may I have your permission to start you on this email series, please click here to opt in. They will be taken to a landing page with a captivating one-liner, you can change the style, your data protection and privacy, etc., and all their data filled in for them. We know their data, we have their data because we pulled their data out of LinkedIn. So all they have to do is update any data that they need or make any changes, update the email address or phone number or whatever, click submit, and you will automatically start them on the email series. And our tool also creates those email series for you. Once again, advanced stuff, guys. Now you see how this is starting to come together because the gnocchi dashboard that I show you earlier, all right, this gnocchi dashboard here tracks LinkedIn and email engagement together. So here's an example. Here's a prospect on 71 points. What I can do is I can score them based on the engagement. engagement. So here he got 20 points because he opted in. He actually filled out the form. If somebody opts into your email series, they are very, very keen. So if you go to your client right now and say, I've just got John Smith, or in this case, Lee Maisner, I've got Lee Maisner here, and I would like to please, um, uh, uh, he's opted into your email series. The client's gonna go crazy because you've just got him a really, really good lead that's actually taken the time to opt into his email series. He's clicked on the link, the form here to fill it out. He's opened an email. He's clicked on a link to read my article. Um, he's actually filled out another form. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that's actually taken place in the background. And each of these are scored and the higher they are, the higher they score. So here we have Philip, he's done the same thing. He's opted in, he's also clicked via LinkedIn, he's clicked on LinkedIn. So it takes the email data and the LinkedIn data, puts it together and scores them. Then what you can do is either teach your client or you can do this on behalf of your client is although this whole process has been automated, you now take it to the next level by clicking the LinkedIn icon, taking you to the LinkedIn profile of this individual, right? In this case, Philip Leone. And then you simply add him to high quality leads because he's a high quality lead. Push the plus button and off you go. It's gonna add him to the high quality leads tab etc etc so what you've just done is you've just found another lead but this lead in this case philip leone already knows who the client is because he's opened the client's emails he's clicked on the client's articles he's read it he's engaged with the client so the lead scoring is now moving up so when your client contacts philip using the four-step process we talked about philip is much more likely to engage much more likely to enter a conversation with you so you see what's happened we've taken a whole automated process We've connected email, we've done landing pages, we've put it all together into this gnocchi dashboard, and we've allowed you to create an even stronger sales pipeline for your client. Wow. I only have one more key thing to show you, and then you're done. By the way, if you have completely understood everything so far, and it's making perfect sense to you and you get it, then you're a frigging genius because it's taken me many, many, many years to develop the system. And for me to get it across to you in one hour is extremely difficult. So if you've managed to figure this out, wow. 
if you have to watch this video a couple of times to get it, I don't blame you whatsoever. And even then, most people aren't going to understand it yet because I need to show you um, a lot more and take you to an even deeper level. But if you've got it so far, then congratulations. Well, well done. I've got one more thing to show you. But the fact remains is, is there a million marketing companies out there. And if you're a social media manager or a digital marketer of any kind, you need to be able to offer additional value to your clients and differentiate yourself and do something that these other digital agencies and digital marketing companies are not doing. And what I'm teaching you here is something that they are not doing, mainly because it's just not cool. It's not fun. It's not pretty. You know, it's a bit cumbersome and you have to learn new stuff and it's LinkedIn. It's, ah, ah. I totally get that. But if you do this and you can get it into a sales pipeline and you can use the data from LinkedIn and use that little piece of data or, or that little piece of LinkedIn that really does work, you're going to give your clients like an eye-opening wow. And you combine that with something like clustering and you've actually started to create a whole lead process for your clients and you're delivering huge value from the social media that you're already doing. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how do you sell this? Now, if you're not a salesperson or you don't want to be a salesperson and you don't want to go out for new business or it's not your job in the company to go out, look for new business, then you don't have to worry about this next bit. Just go to mymosttrusted.net, go to um, Scott Kundal on LinkedIn, connect with me, message me, let's take things to the next level, get on the app, let me show you how the process works potentially one-on-one. -on -one. I'm happy to do that with you. If you want to learn how to sell this now, and you want to learn how to get some new clients out of this, not just so that you can do their LinkedIn for them, but you could become their social media agency or their digital agency or help your agency get new clients using this technique. Watch what I'm going to show you now. This is just absolutely incredible. Now, it's impossible for me to explain to you how to get brand new clients in just a few minutes. In fact, I'm going to be doing an entire course on this, and it's also going to be free. It's not that complicated, but it involves, once again, the technology and another piece of the app that I'm going to show you now, and just a very, very clever little piece of wisdom that's going to help you get clients by getting in the door, by offering something that no one else does. And by now, you've probably guessed what that is. As a digital agency, you can go in there and offer them a specific form of LinkedIn that nobody else is offering them. And you're going to do it so quickly for them and get it working so well that it's just going to elevate you in their perspective. And that will allow you to on sell other digital marketing offerings as well. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you this new part of the app, and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you how it's going to fit in from a strategy perspective. So you've already seen Target. Okay, now I'm going to start showing you what trusted connections are. Essentially, a trusted connection is somebody who's in your first degree that you've specifically gone and added into the app as a trusted connection. Trusted connections are completely separate to target. It's a different part of the app. It's got a different idea. What you do is you find people that you already know and trust or you've dealt with before, and you invite them to become a trusted connection. And it's very, very simple. All you do is you just go onto their LinkedIn profile. So I'm going on to Cherie right now. And all you do is you go to add to trusted connections. You click, I trust this connection or I trust this person. And what it does is it's pulling her details out of LinkedIn and it's putting her into the my trusted connection section. All right. Now, this is important, guys, because I'm going to show you how you can actually get clients from this and why it's a very clever little technique that can be used. All right. Now, very quickly, what you see here under trusted connections is the trusted connection I've just added, Cherie, and the other trusted connections that you've added in the past. But what you can see are their trusted connections as well. So here we have Leon Latakhan, for example, who's got 162 trusted connections. I can go and I can view those trusted connections, all of them. And I can view all of them. I mean, I can just literally just go through one by one by one and there's hundreds of them. I can look at them and I know that my trusted connection, Leon, trusts these people so I can request an introduction. So what I'm doing is I'm doing like a business networking. I'm doing like a referral networking little system right here from within the app. Okay. Now going back, what I can also do is I can introduce people to each other using the introduce button. However, while I'm showing you the technology very, very quickly, and you can play with it, and you, you can look at the videos on mymosttrusted.net, 
What really matters is how and why you are approaching these people as a trusted connection. Okay, now I'm going to stop in a second. I'm going to show you how this all fits together from a strategy perspective. But before I do, it's important to know that when you add somebody as a trusted connection, it automatically brings up a possible message you could write to that person. So in this case, hi, Cherie, I've added you to my most trusted network reserved only for my trusted contacts. So what you're doing is you're telling this person that you trust them so much that you're adding them to like an inner circle of trusted connections. Now you can and you will edit this little message. It's just been put there as a placeholder for you so that you can tweak it and edit it if you want to. But what you're going to do right now is you're going to use the trusted connection and inviting someone to a trusted network so you can start a conversation with them and help them install this app and help them use LinkedIn to the best of their ability. And by doing so, you're going to earn a commission and revenue and you're going to start to bring on a client for your digital marketing agency or another client for yourself. Do you see how it's coming together? So I know it's a bit tricky to understand, like, why would adding a trusted connection help me get a client? And I'm going to show you that separately now. But first of all, I just want you to understand the mechanics. And the mechanics are all you do is you just go to your trusted connections and you add people you trust from their LinkedIn profile by using the add to trusted connections button. You're then going to send them a message and I'm going to show you how to word that message now. That's essentially going to say, I trust you and I'd like to add you to my inner circle. And they're going to reply and go, wow, thank you. That's really appreciative. But it's not going to end there. What matters though, is that you've started the ball rolling and you've started a conversation with them that's going to lead to offering something to them that they don't already have, which is a very specific LinkedIn service. What you're actually doing is you are using the trusted network to win clients in a way that no one else is trying to win them. If you're a digital marketing agency and you try to go out there and spam your services to everybody like everybody else does, people are sick of it. It doesn't work. So you have to go out there with something that's unique and different. So what you do is you use the app and you follow the methodology that I've shown you on your personal LinkedIn profile and you target specific companies that you would like to become clients of yours. And the way that you do it is you follow the same process that I showed you. You do your invitations, acceptances, come up with a captivating one-liner and start taking them through the sales funnel. The problem that you're going to have is they'll come down the sales funnel and they'll start be conversations. You'll have the conversations, but getting the conversation into a call about their digital strategy or digital marketing or social media is going to be the difficult part because they don't want to buy digital marketing services. What they want is something very niche and very specific, and that is sales. So you've now learned to talk to them in their language. Right, so the way that you approach them is as you move down the sales pipeline and you get to a point where you've got a conversation, then you use the trusted connections part of the app that I've just shown you and invite them as a trusted connection and say to them, listen, I, I, you know, we've got a conversation going. I feel like I can trust you. You seem like a really great person. Let's please come and join my little inner circle. And they'll go, wow, thank you. That's, that's, that's great. I appreciate it. Then you wait a day or two. Then you get back to them again. And you say to them, did you manage to get the app installed? Did you manage to join the trusted network? They will almost certainly reply and say, I'm sorry, I just haven't had time. I just haven't got around to it yet. And this is where you come in and you say, well, let me help you with that. Let me get you hooked into the trusted network. Let me get you some trusted connections. Let me get you some leads. And then you can decide if we want to take it further than that. And I won't even charge you for it. And that's how you start to hook them in. And within a few minutes, you can start that process. Now, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered about how you do it. When do you start charging? How much do you start charging? We're launching an affiliate program with the app as well that allows you to earn money from an affiliate program by using the app. So everything was, is going to fit together quite nicely. But how you make money from it is in two ways. Number one, as an affiliate for the app. So you're going to make a little bit of money just on that. And then by getting another client for your digital agency, by getting those meetings, the phone calls and using the trusted connections and using the methodology I've shown you. 
very difficult to explain in such a short period of time. I'm going to do another whole course on this, and it's going to explain the whole process in more detail about how you can convert clients yourself, how you can make money using the app, and how you can win clients as a digital agency by offering them LinkedIn services and then expanding those LinkedIn services to a, a greater digital marketing strategy. It's your foot in the door to those clients. And the way that you do it is you do not sell a digital marketing strategy. You do not sell a social media strategy. You don't sell social, me social media at all. What you sell is a little very specific part of LinkedIn using the trusted network, an inner circle that you invite people to. And then you start working with them from there. To get hold of me, please just jump on my LinkedIn profile which is Scott Kundal, Hook, uh, catch up with me, send me a message, let's have a discussion, let's possibly have a meeting, let's see how we can take this to the next step. There's a lot more questions I have uh, that you'll have and a lot more answers I can give you. I can take you through a lot more than this, but for now, you have just come out, out of an hour long marathon session. Congratulations, well done. I'm hugely excited. I think you're gonna take your social media, digital, digital marketing, internet marketing career, SEO, website design, whatever you do to a whole new level with the knowledge that you have today. Hook me up on LinkedIn, scottcundle.com. And thank you so much for joining me today.